What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. We are currently in the middle of the second day investigation, and it looks like, it sounds like, we're going to be rebuilding those broken statues of uh, Prosecutor Gavin and Wright. Let's see here. It's a bit too far away to get a good look. Maybe we should try a different angle. I know what you're trying to say. Let's look at Scuttlebutt as well. Wait, you don't think this weird box here is... Hands off! I knew it! I know that voice anywhere. You think you know that box anywhere? Come on. Come on. Let's just ignore it. I mean, it made its wishes loud and clear. So, this is the future cardboard box technology has afforded us, huh? Wow, they built a witness stand too, even though it's just a temporary stage. Oh, but I think they're still working on it. Let's see what this notice says. Caution, pedestal features a high speed rotation mode. Activate with care. You mean this thing spins? Interesting. I bet that's somehow relevant. I s right. There was another one. Oh. There's even a prosecutor's bench here on this stage. Ah, the memories, Fraulein. Fraulein. As a former rock star and a prosecutor, the prosecutor's bench has taught me much about human emotions, passion, and fight. I can picture it now! You with your silvery singing voice and Apollo sweating bullets. Hey, how about picturing me winning once in a while? And this, this one as well. The winner of the mock trial was to take the training seminar right here. You mean Hewer Robin? Yeah, besides Juni, they're the only ones who can move freely around the campus. Before the mock trial, that means one of them must be the killer. But that's not really enough to go on, is it? We need to talk with Juniper one more time and persuade her to give us a name. Right, and that means we have to find irrefutable evidence before the day ends. There's no time to lose, but we can't rush it, either. Mm. Efficiency is the key. I think that's pretty much everything. Let's go ahead and change angles. And say hello to, oh, wait. Whoops, okay. Nope, stop, 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 stop. How about this? The body's gone, all that's left is a white outline. I never knew Professor Quartz personally. Oh, personally, yeah. But seeing her reduced to a white outline leaves me cold inside. But in a way, she still lives on in the messages she left behind. Like the strange way her body was posed and the signs of her wrist being bound. You're right. Let's use your final messages to catch her killer. I want to rebuild the statue already. Yes. Build. It's a copy of the school paper with that story about the alleged love triangle. I wonder if people really waste their time reading this stuff. It's more popular than you think. What was that? I thought I heard something just now. You're just hearing things. It was nothing more than your ears playing tricks on you. No, build it! Found one! A piece of Prosecutor Gavin's shattered pride. Are you saying my pride is as fragile as plaster of Paris? It looks like there are other large pieces scattered about. Okay, let's find what we can. White fragment added to court record. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh no, Prosecutor Gavin! You're a complete wreck! Literally! Why in the world would someone do something like this? I don't know, but whoever did it must have felt an amazing sense of release. Can I take that as a confession, Hair Forehead? What? No! I feel bad for Robin. She works so hard on these. Let's pick up the pieces for her. You got it. Let's check every corner of this stage then, y'all. Yeah? Uh, oh, there it is! Na, 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 na. Found another piece of the statue. But there should still be some more. Let's leave no stone unturned. Purple fragment added to the court record. A purple fragment from a broken statue. It was found all alone in the strangest of places. Na, 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 na. Hmm. Looks like we've looked at almost everything we need to here. Let's back out. And move right. There it is. Okay. Oh, hello. 
found another piece of the statue. But there should still be some more. Let's leave no stone unturned. White fragments updated in the court record. Okay, how about over here? Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Wait, hold on, what's down here? Aha! Gotcha. Found another piece of the statue. But there should still be some more. Let's leave no blah, 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 blah. Updated purple fragments. Go over here. The other statue Robin made. It's been smashed to bits. If there were some larger pieces, we might be able to put this one back together too. Yeah, but all I see are itty bitty ones. I wonder what Mr. Wright would think if he knew we put Prosecutor Gavin's statue back together but left his like this. We could always come back to it after the case is solved. I'll help you fix it. We're not gonna fix it? Come on, okay. Ooh, hello, here it is. This looks like another piece of the statue. Thanks, Apollo. This makes five pieces in all. I think we have all we're gonna find. Okay, let's get back to where Prosecutor Gavin was shattered. I think you might want to reward that. Oh, reward that, sorry. Time to rebuild a statue. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I don't see any other big pieces lying around. Yeah, let's see if we can put the statue back together. All right, Apollo, you come over here and Prosecutor Gavin, if you could hold this. Oh, they're gonna do it for me. I thought I would have to do it. Looking good, man. Amazing, what three little pieces of purple rock can do. Not bad if I do say so myself. Yeah, but don't you think it's strange? We put the statue back together, but look. What's with all these leftover white pieces? Hmm, these two look like they go together. And these pieces too. Uh, Athena, what do you think you're doing? Don't stop, don't stop me now. The artist inside me wants to get out and have a good time. Oh, yes. Yes, cause she's having a good time. Jesus, I'm ready to explode like Lenny Cadaver. Ooh, it's justice. You know what I say it was? Hold on. No theories yet. So what is it? Ah, it's the goddess of law holding a pair of scales in one hand and a sword in the other. That's quite the feat you pulled off there. Phew! I love that feeling you get after you work really hard on something. No, no, no. I know who it was. I meant to ask what it's doing here. Not sure. There's no statue like this in the stage plans. Still, I could swear I've seen this statue somewhere before. In the photo! You saw it in the photo! Lady Justice Add to Court Record. Uh, it's it's that one. Uh, if you look at the bottom screen in the, in the little middle right there, it's that one. The more we learn, the deeper the rabbit hole goes. It's the way she goes. At least we're moving in the right direction. Let's keep searching the stage for clues. I've been wondering about something this whole time. You know that pole at the edge of the stage? You mean this? It has a wire that goes off and connects to something somewhere. <gasps> a zip line! Oh, I got it. That's why her hands were bound. It was used to swing her down, and that's what broke the statues. Bam! So whoever works in this room did it. This wire is for hanging banners over the stage. One of the policemen who was here earlier was checking how it worked. Oh, so that's why the banner looks like it's out of place. The banners are hung and removed from the art room over there. That's the art room over there? As in the scene of the crime? Bingo. It's still crawling with cops, though. Hey! Anyone in the art room? Oh, look, there he is! Hello, Fulbright. Oh, it's you people! Ha ha! Injustice we trust! I love the idea of him just yelling all this out of a window. Ah, it's Detective Fulbright. Injustice we trust! Is that some kind of a greeting between you two? Detective Fulbright, can you lower that banner from there? Of course, just leave it to me! Is 
Let's see what we have here. How's that? Woo! Thanks, detective. Injustice we trust! Ha ha ha, always glad to help! <laughs> and there he goes. Good guy. So is that some kind of greeting between you two or not? Aha! Look at that! Perfect for carrying a body or something. Well, it looks like the banner's down now. Let's go take a look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this banner. I don't think it would flap very well in the wind. An unflappable banner? Hey, I like that. It goes perfect with unflappable lawyers and unflappable rockers. It's like it was made for this very stage. Look at this! The bottom part is all knotted up. Let me try and unravel it. Oh man, something's gonna come out. Something good. Some evidence. Or blood. Jeez, did you really have to? You don't come across an unflappable banner every day. Athena, uh, Athena. There are some things that have to yield to forces beyond themselves. What a cruel world we live in. Hey, a scrap of paper was caught up inside. It's blowing away! I got it! Yes! Great catch, huh? Looks like some kind of note. What does it say? October Hugh 120. What's that supposed to mean? A test score, maybe? Pretty impressive when you consider that 100 is a perfect score. I don't see how even Hugh could get beyond perfect. Fraulein. Shall we inspect the banner again, now that it has been unraveled? Unraviolied? Yes. Hold on a minute. I want to figure this out right now. What, what that's supposed to say. So let's go to her journal. Where is it torn? I don't see anything torn. What? Interesting. Okay then. This is the emblem that's on Junie's school uniform. Hey, you're right. Wait a sec. It's hard to see against the red material, but look. There's a dark red stain here, just under the emblem. This banner was on a wire connected to the art room. Right, and the art room is where the murder occurred. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? The stain might be from the victim's blood. School banner added to the court record. A large banner that was hung by a wire. And blood is on it. What else is there to see? Aha! This statue doesn't look anything like you or, or Mr. Wright. <laughs> Sorry. The goddess bearing scales and a sword. She's a symbol of fairness and strength. But she and her symbols were shattered along with the statues of you and Mr. Wright. This is a direct challenge up, up to the rule of law. Well, if they want to fight, they've got one. Whoa, taking down a notch, tiger. Let's save the fighting for when we find our culprit. Phew, that was a whole lot of poking around in such a short time. Does that mean you're satisfied? Actually, there was one more thing I wanted to check out. See that metal fence back there? There's just that one segment, so it seems out of place. It looks like they were in the process of removing them after the stage was set up. But they were never able to finish on account of the murder. We should take a look if you think it could be important. Let me drink some water here. Mm, this track looks man-made. Hey, you're right, and it looks like it starts from behind the backdrop. Maybe a big, muddy pro wrestler was hiding back there. Well, that was totally random, but we'll never know until we take a look. Looks like something was being dragged through here. And this is where it started. Yeah, but whatever it was, it's long gone. Must have been pretty heavy. Perhaps it was used in setting up the school festival. Aw, oh, then I guess it wasn't a pro wrestler. Still, this could be something important. Well, that's about it for the stage. Right, I think we better search the art room next. I think I'll hang around here for a while. But I'll make sure to- wait. But make sure to tell me once you find it, y'all. Well, I'll do that, buddy. I'll do that. Find what? 
What else? The Gaviner's banner that disappeared from the stage. You never know. It just might be connected to the case at hand. Really? Or does he just want his banner back? Don't tell me. So in short, that's... Hmm? Hey. I totally forgot she was there. What? Oh, she's good. That box! It just took off running! I have a pretty good idea who that is, as I suspect you do too. Come on, we can't afford to have any weird articles written about us. The maintenance area is over in that direction. After that box! Catch it. Kill it. October 25, Themis Legal Academy. Miriam, you're liable to get tossed in the garbage truck if you hang around here. I'm just an empty box, and that's what you do with them? You throw them away. Wipe the past with crime cleaner. Hey, did you change boxes? I like the new look. What does it matter anymore? I was a complete failure in court today. My work, my pride, my dreams, everything I've worked so hard for, gone! Sorry, Miss Scuttlebutt, but doesn't believing you had a scoop and you really didn't make you a failure as a reporter? A failure as a reporter? Look at that face, look at that grin. So dirty. Come to think of it, calling her a failure as a reporter might have been a bit extreme. You're such a sadist. <sighs> bah. Bah. Scold me, despise me, pack me away where I've never seen the light of day. I have been cast aside to waste away into a big pile of mushy paper mache. I kind of feel responsible for this, but now's our chance to prod her for information while she's vulnerable. That's it, Apollo. You just keep manipulating people, you sick, sadistic bastard. But that's what you were thinking. What kind of person do you think I am? You read me like a book. Everyone's sick. I love this, talking to a box, it's beautiful. Scuttlebutt, scuttle, wait, scuttling scuttlebutt? That was you on the stage earlier, wasn't it? Why'd you run off like that? Take a look at this. Why are you showing me a burnt up old rag? It's the Gaviner's banner. Wait, it's really hard to see, but I think that's the Gaviner's logo there. Yeah, exactly. So is this the banner that disappeared? It's all burned up. Don't look at me, I just happened to find it in the incinerator. Incinerator. Did Blackwell actually make good on his threat to burn her box? We should probably try to find out whether someone tried to destroy this on purpose. Yeah, this banner is sounding less and less unrelated to our case, Apollo. Burned fragments added to the court record. Remnants of the governor's banner that was tossed into the incinerator and later found by Miriam. Hmm. The depths of despair. Um, Miriam, I owe you an apology. I shouldn't have said you were a failure as a reporter. Too late. I already decided journalism isn't for me. The last step is to erase all of the photos on my PC. I'm really going to do it. Here goes! 5%, 10%, four years of my life down the drain. Sounds like a fax machine. Shouldn't we stop her, Athena? Miriam, you should keep publishing your paper. I didn't mean what I said, okay? Unfortunately, it's been almost 20 minutes, so I'm gonna end this video here. So stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode, and thanks for watching. Bye!